Okay, so we got the details for STRLR Vegito Blues Extreme Z Awakening. And I gotta say, guys, I can't remember the last time I was this disappointed <laughs> by something in the game. I mean, I don't want to say that it's an awful Extreme Z Awakening. I think it does make him better in some ways. But the problem is that the difference is not really that noticeable and it actually introduces a problem into his kit that didn't exist before and it's to the point where like you might have to think about whether you actually want to Extreme C Awaken him or not. So uh, yeah, this is an example of what not to do for an EZA in my opinion and uh, a lot of people in the community seem to share that sentiment so yeah before I say anything else let's just jump right into it we will go through the details and then we can uh, discuss further so uh, currently before the EZA his leader skill is super class key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 70% uh, 12k super raises attack and defense and causes colossal damage and then 18k super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive attack and defense plus 80% raises key by up to 10. The less HP remaining, the greater the key boost. Okay, so that's what he does right now. With the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill, super class key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, that's fine. Pretty solid upgrade to the leader skill. 12k super, raises attack and defense, causes cost of damage, and lowers attack. And then 18k super, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega cost of damage. And then his passive is attack and defense plus a hundred percent so a 20 percent buff raises key by up to 10 the less hp remaining the greater the key boost medium chance of key plus five launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when performing an ultra super attack key plus two and disables enemies guard when there is another future saga category ally attacking in the same turn so uh, essentially he's getting the additional 20% buff here for attack and defense and then we get uh, a 30% chance for 5 key which is a lot and then we have this 30% uh, chance for an additional super attack when you're doing an 18 key super and then two more key when you have another future saga category ally attacking in the same turn so the issue here is that it's, it's not much of a buff, I mean it's 80% to 100% and since it's an LR, the stats don't change, right? So in terms of like, yeah, the attack and defense buff, it's, it's, it's there, it's just not really that significant. And then the problem comes from the abundance of key in his kit, which for most LRs is good. Most of the time you want to be able to get that 18 key super as much as possible and for this guy he's almost always going to be getting his 18 key super because he's just getting so much key and um that's not great for this guy because you're really reliant on his 12 key super to stack attack and defense to make him you know put up some you know decent damage numbers and defense numbers because with just the 100 percent attack and defense boost he's not really doing much you know like for an LR these days, like by today's standards, he doesn't hit that hard. His defense is not that great. And you need him to stack the 12 key super as much as possible to make him, once again, you know, like somewhat impressive, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know why they went with all this key, you know, because this guy already has a lot of key links. He got, he's got the, uh, you know, prepare for battle link, he's got the fuse fighter link, he's got the shattering the limit link, so those are all key plus two, and then you got key plus five here, you got key plus two here. Um, you do have the 30% chance for an additional normal attack, or sorry, normal super, 12 key super, after you launch the 18 key, which is 
uh, nice. I'm glad they at least included that. But, I mean, it's only 30%, so you're not going to be getting it, you know, too often. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like they didn't put a lot of thought into this Extremes The Awakening. Um, especially for a unit as hype as this guy, right? For a character as hype as this one, you would think that they would make him better. And once again, as I said in the beginning of this video, I don't think it's like awful. I don't think, you know, like he's unusable now or anything like that. Like some people are really, really against the CZA. I've seen some people say like, I'm just straight up not going to extremely awaken him because he's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Um, I will probably still go ahead and extremely awaken him, but uh, they could have done a lot better. They could have done a lot better. So yesterday we were saying how, you know, the guy that designed the LR Rose and Zamasu Extremes the Awakening was the same guy that designed uh, that designed the SDR Broly Extremes the Awakening, right? It seems to be like on the same level. Um, whereas now we're back to uh, the the bad team, you know, we're 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 back to the the people who don't really know how to Extremes the Awakening units. Uh, like the ones that designed Int, uh, Gohan, and LR Majin Vegeta, and uh, various other examples out there. So, I mean, yeah, it's just disappointing because I think we were expecting so much, or at least hoping for so much more, and this is what we got, and it's not, it's not much, man. I mean, 20% additional attack and defense? And, yeah, unless you're stacking a lot of attack and defense on the 12 key, you're not really looking at anything, you know, great, defensively and offensively. And because of all the key on the kit and all the key links, I mean, it's going to be really hard to get that 12 key super. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. I mean, maybe you have a different opinion. Maybe you feel differently. Maybe you see things differently. Feel free to let me know your opinions in the comments. But I'm definitely, I mean, at least my first impressions are not very positive. Um, I'm definitely not super happy with this one. Maybe the Rose and Zamasu Extremes The Awakening has just spoiled us to the point where like we expect too much from Extremes The Awakenings. But even compared to some other free-to-play EZAs, um, like LR EZAs that is, this guy doesn't really compare too favorably, you know, like... He's just not great. He's not great. So, that that's that's all I gotta say, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, unless I'm not reading this right, <laughs> am I misunderstanding something? Because it just feels like he didn't really get that much of a buff, and he actually got a slight debuff <laughs> with all the keys, so... I don't know. I don't know. That that's just uh, how I feel initially. Maybe my opinion will change once uh, you know things settle a little bit. Once I have some time to think about it some more. But at this very moment, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. So guys, uh, let me know how you feel. Let me know your opinions. Let me know if you agree with me. If not, then um, why do you not agree? And uh, yeah. That's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Um, yeah, no, there's nothing else to say. Uh, sub to the channel. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.